Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to swap the components from my uh, deluxe Saiski micro quad into a different frame uh, to shave some weight because it's a little bit too heavy right now. So right now this guy weighs 50 grams and that's without the battery. And I'm going to be using this new frame from Picnic Quads. It's called the uh, Hubski 115 millimeter frame. And this only weighs 8 grams, like right there. I believe, if I remember correctly, this 3D printed frame weighed like 16 grams. So this is going to be about half the weight. So I'm going to put all the components from this quad into this frame and uh, reweigh it. Okay guys, so I finished the transfer of all of the parts to the new frame with the exception of this camera which is the FX798T with the new antenna. I swapped that out, so but it's, those are essentially the same weight so it doesn't make that much difference. Now the uh, new weight of this is 40 grams. So it's gone down about 10 grams from before. And I've actually already flown this, uh, and I can tell you that it is an absolute rocket ship now. So let me guys give you a closer look at this. Got the uh, same Micromoto Warehouse uh, motors, and I'm st still sticking with the Hubson props because uh, these motors can't really go to a bigger prop. They tend to overheat. Uh, I just have my Saiski there mounted on a few layers of... Uh, double-sided foam tape and it reduces the vibration keeps things nice and level you got my uh, power cable going in here to uh, the camera cable over here and there's all the stuff in behind um, probably could save a little more weight by cutting that off but uh, I didn't really feel like it I've got the the same connectors here that were on the, on here before I didn't take those off uh, I think that you could save some more weight if you didn't use these connectors but uh, that will be for a future build. And on the bottom here I just have um, another layer of double sided foam tape to give it a little space from the screws. And I'm using the uh, dual lock here for holding my battery on. And uh, I can tell you that this stuff works great. It uh, The battery uh, doesn't come off at all and, and I'm doing like crazy tricks in, the, uh, in flight and it just stays on. And, I don't have to use any sort of like rubber band or a velcro around this at all, it just stays on. Mm, I, I may use some velcro just to keep it on in case I uh, do crash and I don't want the battery to get ejected and lost, so I may still uh, use some velcro around the whole thing here just to hold it all together. So as I said, I, I did fly this already and I will put some flight footage up uh, right after the uh, end of this review. You'll find that it flies a lot faster than the previous version with the 3D printed frame. Now uh, I'll put a link to the previous video and you can compare to this video and uh, let me know what you think, if it's faster or not. I think it's a lot faster. It just feels a lot faster. Um, the other thing that I've noticed about the uh, thing being uh, uh, 10 grams lighter is that not only is it faster, it um, has uh, better recovery in the turns, it doesn't lose as much altitude and the uh, motors don't uh, come down super hot like they used to. Uh, now I could fly around for three and a half, four minutes 
Um, flight times are longer, the battery voltage is higher, and the motors are just warm, not like piping hot. You know, so the uh, motors not having to carry around an extra 10 grams really makes a big difference. You know, going from 50 grams to 40 grams, that's a 20% savings in weight, which is actually a pretty big deal. And it really shows in the flight characteristics. So anyway, I'm going to roll the uh, flight footage now. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And I'll talk to you guys later.